Hello guys, welcome back on today. We're going to be talking about the 2018 NHL Draft and my winners, my winning teams coming out of this draft. Now, of course, when we're talking about winning teams, we're talking about what players that I liked got picked by certain teams. So, we don't know, of course, what these guys will turn into. We don't know which guys will make it, which guys won't. But for me, these are the teams that, for me, really succeeded and got guys that I really think will make a great NHL career. There were a few teams that had some really solid ones, some teams that had some okay ones, but there were some teams that had some really spectacular ones that really just nailed it out of the park. So we're going to start with the Chicago Blackhawks, as they, of course, drafted Adam Boquist 8th overall. Really solid pickup. He has a lot of upside and a lot of potential. I feel like he's one of those guys that has a big potential, won't make the Angel for a while, but has that giant top 2 upside. I feel like he can definitely get there. Nicholas Baudin, I think, is also a good pick, 27th overall for Chicago. He's a solid player, probably a first-round talent. We'll see if he ends up making it, but I think he's an all-around solid two-way guy that can definitely produce in the NHL. And last but not least, you got Jake Wise, 69th overall, who could be a solid guy for them going in the future, a solid forward for them. I feel like he'll be a guy, a guy that really does help out the team and will be a depth role, but still one of the guys that, like Chicago has had before, some role players, and Jake Wise definitely fits that bill. 69th overall, pretty nice. I'm going to give a little bit of a round of applause to Vancouver because they did pretty well as well. They got Quinn Hughes 7th overall a little bit, going a little bit higher than I thought he was going to be. I thought he was going to go to Detroit, but of course, the Daniel went up, dropping to Detroit, and they ended up picking him. So Quinn Hughes going to 7th, I think that's a good value for Vancouver. Able to get him at a 7th round pick, or 7th overall pick, I think was pretty good for them. An overall fantastic pickup for them. Then you got the legend Jet Wu, who was drafted 37th overall by Vancouver. I'd say it's a pretty good pickup. He can be a shutdown, potential top four guy for them in the future. Again, I don't think he's going to be quite a Chris Tana, but he can definitely get to fit that role of a top four guy that's definitely a shutdown guy. Jet Wu definitely fits that bill. And then you got Tyler Madden, 68th overall, who, kind of like Jake Wise with, with Chicago, can fill that depth role and could definitely be a role player for them for the future. Now, the New York Islanders had themselves a draft. First, they got Lump overall, Oliver Wallstrom, an amazing pickup there. Probably a steal 11th overall. He definitely had top 10 talent in my eyes. Then with the next pick, yeah, I got back-to-back -back picks. They got Noah Dobson, 12th overall, which was definitely a great pickup by them as well. Going to be a solid defenseman that they'll use for the future. They got some other guys like Bodie Wild, who was drafted 41st overall. That was an amazing pick by them. He'll definitely be a project, but a good solid defenseman for them in the future. Probably the top six guy that that will definitely have that physical side to him. But Bodie Wild, a good pick up there as well. Then you got Ruslan. <laughs> Sorry for my imagination, but Ish Iskhakov, trying to pronounce that right, 43rd overall. Not a bit bad, bad pick up there. And of course, they got Jakob Skarek, 73rd overall, projected to be one of the better goalies in the draft. And Islanders need some goalies, so obviously a good pick up there. So the Islanders, I'd say, at least had a top three draft. They were amazing. They were able to get some steals. They were able to get some players that I really loved. And were able to have a very solid draft from the pretty crazy first two rounds. They got a lot of, a couple of great draft picks. And a lot. They got a lot of draft picks and used a lot of them well. They got pretty lucky with picks like Bodie Wild, But they got some great players from it. At least in my eyes. But to me right now, they're one of the winners from this draft for sure. And then we go to the Detroit Red Wings, who, to me, are the winners of this draft. First, you get Philip Zania, 6th overall? Yeah, that's correct. Philip Zania dropping to the 6th overall. Detroit, happy to take him there. A great pickup there. Going to be a steal at 6th overall. Great pickup by the Detroit Red Wings. Then you got Joe Valeno, 30th overall, which was an interesting story. It was weird how he dropped so far, but ended up picking him 30th overall. It concerns me because he dropped so far, but we'll keep some optimism still for them. Uh, you got Jonathan Bergen, or Bergren, something like that. 32nd overall. You're going to be fair, very solid for, or 33rd overall. It's going to be solid for them for the future good solid defenseman there too uh you got Jarek Isaac 39th overall he's another guy that I feel could have had first line or first round potential and they got him in the second round and I think it was going to be a steal there Mike Isaac I've liked for a while and I think he'll be pretty solid for Detroit just looking at Detroit, their their pool, even in the first two rounds, was amazing. And they got some other guys, but their first two rounds were fantastic. And they'll have to wait and see how those depth guys come out as well. But those first two rounds and those first few rounds were fantastic by Detroit. And I don't think they could have done really any better with what they got. 
overall, they just had a solid draft, and I think they could just did as good as they could have. They got guys, they got steals, and they got pretty much everything, and I feel like Detroit just got a little bit lucky here, same with the New York Islanders as well, but they took their chances, and I think that they got very solid in draft stock from here, and their group right now is looking fantastic. Their group right in here, if you're a Detroit Red Wings fan, that's fantastic. The draft class that you got was pretty much as good as you could have gotten. And Detroit's draft class from this year might go down as one of the best in this year's draft. And for me, I feel like the Red Wings won this draft just from what they were able to get, what they were able to get from their picks, and what they were able to utilize from, you know, not as many picks as some other teams, but still some a lot of picks. I feel like the team used a lot of them well and used the picks that they had pretty wisely. Now, there are some other teams that had some pretty solid drafts as well, most notably Pittsburgh, who didn't even have a first-round pick in this year's draft, and got themselves Kalen Addison and Philip Hallen two guys that are pretty underrated I think will go down as one of the better second round picks throughout that second round I think they got some pretty underrated guys there and there are some other teams that did very well as well uh, again I've already listed the teams that I thought won the draft and were probably the best teams could come out of it but there's some a lot there's a lot of teams that just had some solid draft and draft classes and some teams that did pretty good now, I'm not going to talk about the teams that lost. That's a video for another day. But there are obviously some losers, obviously some winners, and some teams that came out pretty good. And Buffalo getting Dolan, I think that's a pretty good pick, I'd say. I think it's pretty solid. But to me, Detroit is the winner to come out of this draft, New York being a close second. But those two teams had a fantastic draft. Both of those two teams had a decent amount of picks, so that, but all of them used them well. So these teams, of course, had the had the pattern of having a lot of picks, but using them well, utilizing them well. And both New York and Detroit had those two in spades. They were doing fantastic. They got lucky sometimes, and they got some steals. But Detroit, I'd say, is the winner to come out of this draft. They got a lot of solid guys that will definitely help them throughout the future. That's right now looking pretty bleak. But for New York as well, that's a, not, that's a great draft to entice John Deveras. You know, it, it's always there. New York having a great draft as well. That's good for the franchise and for good for the franchise going forward. Once again, my top two coming out of this draft were number two, New York, and number one, Detroit. I felt like both of those two teams got some very solid players and got some very great players, foundational setting players that Detroit will need and New York already needs. So that's going on for today, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. What do you think? Which team won the 2018 NHL Draft? Which team do you think had the most and had the most to work with? What team impressed you the most? And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.